They've got eggs, bacon, even pancakes. But the Brecky Club is so much more than a free feed. It's a place where the friendship is just as good as the food, where volunteers make strangers' lives a little brighter. From the humble... It's more than just the breakfast. ..to the hungry. What would you do if this place wasn't here? I would starve. It's a win-win for everybody, Breakfast Club. You've got an apron there. Well, you better come in and join us. I came We'd... prepared. You did. Fabulous. You want to give me a hand? Yep, we can get that apron on for you. This is very pretty. We love the <laughs> butterflies. You're the bacon man. Yeah, I'm the bacon, bacon man. Today. Oh, looking good. Yep, pretty much ready to go out. It's 7am at the Frankston Brecky Club and volunteers like Tony are up before dawn. So blokes like Troy, the captain and David can start their day with a smile and a tummy full of tucker. Every year this incredible crew cranks out 10,000 meals. And this is a great cause that feels like it needs people's attention. So yeah, I feel really good about doing it. Like many volunteers here, in an hour or so, Tony will down tongs and head to work. Often bosses, um, they let, give their employees time to come and help at Brecky Club because they know they're helping other people and doing great work mm. in the community. So they'll say to them, well, we can come in half an hour later, it doesn't matter, because they um, know that they're helping other people. The Brecky Club even has a president, Trudy. This sums up our Brecky Club. One of the guests one morning left this note on the bench and it said, thanks for the meal. The only thing better than the meal is that a stranger would come here to feed a stranger. And that was just, it means, it just summed up Brecky Club for me and for all our volunteers. It's a wonderful thing they're doing. Yep, definitely is. Warms the heart, mate. Yep, and keeps me from starving. Troy first came to the Brecky Club 10 years ago and quickly figured out it was more than a free feed. Just good to have a chat too with people. And it stopped a lot of the crime too, I reckon. If people were given a good brekkie in the morning, you know, and nice people to talk to, they might start their days a bit different than going out and stealing food to eat and whatever, you know, like. You're a volunteer here. Yeah. Why do you do it? Uh, I've known Trudy all my life and she got me in in the start of the year. I just had a bit of free time and it's just cool community. Like obviously the, the food help is huge, cost of living at the moment. Cassie is a myotherapist. She says the Brecky Club has inspired her to help those less fortunate. This has definitely exposed me to what I think I'd rather be doing, which is, yeah, more within this world. How good is this place? There's no ID, anybody can come here and there is no judgement. Just one big happy family. You know what I reckon? Every suburb should have a brekkie club. Here, here. Yeah, it'd be a good idea, yeah. Why do you like it here? Camaraderie. Camaraderie? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the moment is uh, number one. Number one. Number one, yeah. Why do you come I, here? I, I have actually... For the company, mate. For the company? Yeah. And, and the tucker? I live, I live alone, mate. <laughs> you live alone? I uh, watch TV all the time. A bit of therapy for me. If I have uh, a few problems adjusting socially to, since the pandemic. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of the people I know here are also from the United Church. And I've started to go to church and it's really helped me. It's got to be washed now. Oh, I've got to wash this, do I? Too right. Yeah. That's the whole part of it. There's a, there's a kitchen out here. We've got to wash the dishes. Let's muck in. Yeah, okay, just look after you like your mum did. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> it costs about thirty thousand a year to, for the food. We get some the eggs donated from the Somerville Egg Farm, and Baker's Delight and Karingal kindly donate our bread. But we still have to buy all the other staples. I'd say keep it up, because. Um... It doesn't take much to put a smile on someone's face. It might be something big or small, but, you know, little things can do it. 
Well, I've only known you for a morning, but I can tell you what I think of you. I think you're a legend. Oh, I'm not a legend. I just love our community. Yeah, we all think you are, Trudy. And that is a beautiful thing they're doing there.